Hey, Henry. William, it's good to hear your voice again. How have you been? It's been a bit stressful, to be honest, but just busy with the new animatronic project. It's going really well, and um, I'm excited to finally open up my own restaurant. I see. Well, we've had a pretty good run with Freddy Fazbear's Pizza so far. It's been doing really well. Yeah, I've heard. I'm actually a bit jealous, to be honest. I really want my place to be as successful, if not more successful, than Freddy's. I'm sure it will be, William. You've put a lot of work into this. Thanks. I really hope so. That's great to hear. I'm sure it'll be a success, but I wanted to talk with you about something important. Sure. What is it? I've been reading about some incidences at other restaurants where animatronics have been malfunctioning and causing harm to visitors. I want to make sure that our establishments are safe for everyone who comes through our doors. And especially yours, too. I understand your concerns. Rest assured, I'm being extremely careful with the programming and engineering of the animatronics. Safety is my top priority. I still want you to take your time with the project. Rushing things could lead to mistakes. I promise I won't rush anything. I want this restaurant to be just as perfect as you do. But I do need to move quickly if we're going to open in I time. I know, but please keep safety in mind. Above all else. I don't want any accidents or injuries to happen. I understand, Henry. You can trust me to handle everything properly. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? No, that's all for now. Just keep me updated on the progress of the project. Okay? Will do, Henry. Talk to you soon. Take care, William. Hello there, I'm Waffle Brokey, the CEO of Fazbear Entertainment, and welcome to Fred Bear's Family Diner, the job of your dreams. Or so I hope. Because many things are currently happening, and I can't personally be present everywhere, I leave you these pre-recorded messages to cover any questions you may have and respond to any incidents that may occur during your night shift adventure. You might be asking yourself, Waffle, just how difficult is this job? What was in that phone book of a contract I just signed today? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to earn some money? That's right, dough, moolah, Greenbacks, all for just sitting and waiting in a well-protected room with a comfortable office chair and a cup of coffee. It's much better than sitting around and not being able to pay your bills, isn't it? And hey, we're not cheap here at Fazbear Entertainment. We'll pay you a cool 110 bucks per week, which I know is a lot, so just don't go and spend all of it on something frivolous, like you usually do. We value and take care of all our staff, and I want to inform you that our equipment here is very damn expensive. It's top-of-the-line stuff, and we've had our fair share of knuckleheads trying to break in at night. So, you better keep those peepers peeled and glued to that monitor on your desk. Don't you dare smudge it up, or you'll be cleaning it with your own toothbrush. If anything happens to our property, then it is your responsibility. Your job here is very important, and if you can finish this week without any problems, you'll be rewarded with a voucher for some of our delicious pizzas. Trust me, it's worth it. All right, listen up, kid. My advice to you is simple. Don't go wandering around unless you have to. If you see something or someone trying to break in, then it's time to take action. But until then, just sit tight and don't touch anything you don't need to. If anything goes wrong, we'll know exactly who to blame. Just sit tight, keep your eyes peeled, and don't make me regret hiring you. I hope you don't want to be the one responsible for messing things up around here. All right, listen up. We need to talk about your safety, and we need to talk about it now. In front of you, you'll see a fancy video surveillance system that'll let you keep an eye on everything happening in this place. And when I say everything, I mean everything. No slacking off on the job, or you'll have me to answer to. Now, those mechanical doors on your left and right might look like something out of a sci-fi movie, but they're not toys. Don't get too close to them when pressing the button, or you'll be singing soprano for the next week. And trust me, I don't want to be paying for any medical bills. Speaking of which, do you have insurance? Because...
is once you step foot in this place, you're on your own. If things go south, you're not getting a dime out of me. Oh, and one more thing. If you notice your vision getting blurry or your eyes begin to water and burn, don't worry. That's just a side effect of working in this environment. But if it persists for a week, start worrying and go see your personal doctor. Remember, we're all in this together and safety comes first. The last thing I wanted to tell you was about the mascots we have here. I'm talking about the real stars of the show, Fred Bear, the singing bear, and his best friend, Spring Bonnie, the guitarist. These two have been entertaining children in this town for years, and now they're getting an upgrade. After we renovated the entire place, we added some great new features, including making them more interactive with our customers and staff during the day. But since we have so much to do and so little time, we decided to test some of the features during your night shift. So if you see them wandering around the pizzeria through the cameras, do yourself a favor and just let those handsome devils go about their business. Here's what you have to do. When those animatronics start lurking near your office, shut the door and keep them out. During the day, those guys will pop up in your office to say hello to the security guard like they're your best buds. It's all part of the entertainment, you know? Okay, kid, I gotta go handle my own business now, and let's get this night shift started and hope for the best. And hey, if things get a little too intense, just remember, you could be working in a morgue instead. So have some fun, enjoy the ambience, and keep your hands off those animatronics. And most importantly, stay alert. We don't want any accidents happening on our watch, do we? Good luck, kid. You'll need it. And see you tomorrow. Hey Henry, everything's going well. The animatronics are on track, and I'm confident about meeting our opening date. That's good to hear. However, I need to emphasize that safety is our top priority. And we can't afford any mistakes. Pressure to meet the deadline might cause you to rush things. I understand your concern, but rest assured that safety is always my top priority. I know what I'm doing. And I won't take any unnecessary risks. I hope so, but I've been hearing some worries from others that your methods of work could lead to some problems. They're also worried that your recent divorce might affect your judgment. My personal life has nothing to do with my work. As for my methods, they have always worked in the past and will work now. I have everything under control. I see. Just remember that I'm here to support you, and the company. If you need any help or advice, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for your offer, but I've got it covered. I'll keep you updated on the progress. Please do. And keep in mind that safety comes first. We don't want any injuries or accidents. Of course, Henry. Talk to you soon. Take care, William. Hello, it's Waffle Brogy here, and welcome to your second night on the job. You seem to have everything under control, don't you? 
That's what I like to see, someone who can handle themselves. I'll keep it short and only tell you what is absolutely necessary. The main two animatronics also have a second functionality that'll blow your mind. You can actually wear them like a costume. Now, I know what you're thinking. Waffle, that sounds like the greatest thing ever. But, hold your horses for a second. These newer models aren't quite perfected yet. They've got a bit of a... Well, let's call it a design flaw. You see, if you're not careful, it could crush your chest, and you'll bleed out until the dawn. Trust me, it's not a pretty picture. We had an incident with one of our employees not too long ago. Poor guy ended up in a hospital bed with his legs crushed. It's tragic, but informative. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't try it out if you're feeling brave, but just know that if something goes wrong, it's on you. Actually, don't even touch them. We're not taking any responsibility here. So if we find you the next morning, dead inside of one of our mascots, don't come crying to us. You were informed, and we are clean. Uh, yeah. True. Anyway, a new mascot was added to the cast recently. And not just any mascot, mind you. This one's special. Made solely by one of the founders himself, Henry Emily. Now, I don't know much about it, but what I do know is that it's been causing some trouble. So much so that we had to lock it up in your office. But don't worry, we've got a prize corner set up there, and it's a win-win situation for all of us, right? Just make sure you keep an eye on that little bugger and put it back in its place if it tries to wander off. We don't want a repeat of that old tale where a puppet crept into a sleeping man's mouth, do we now? Well, listen, kid. Don't worry. We'll get through this. We always do. Just keep an eye on those animatronics and stay out of trouble. And remember, I'm always here for you. Yeah, gonna go get some shut-eye. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye.